Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of Wellbeing Week. Be prayerful, be creative. While journeying on, journeying on horseback one day, St. Benedict met a poor man walking along the road. You've got an easy job, said the poor man. Why don't I become a man of prayer? Then I too would be travelling on horseback. You think praying is easy, replied the saint. If you can say one Lord's Prayer without any distraction, you can have this horse. It's a bargain, said the surprised man. Closing his eyes and folding his hands, he began to say the Lord's Prayer aloud. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Suddenly, he stopped and looked up. Do I get the saddle and bridle too? Wellbeing Week is all about your happiness. Not necessarily the sort of happiness that's demonstrated in hysterical laughter, although there is a place for that. But the sort of happiness that comes from a balance of our intellect, our emotions and our spiritual understandings. A calm order which helps us to cope with the inevitable ups and downs of life. To achieve that balance, we need a set of habits, a toolkit of well-being. One tool that many millions of people use to achieve well-being is prayer. So I'm encouraging you this morning to be prayerful. Prayer has been shown to influence our state of mind. It has been shown to reduce anxiety, to elevate a person's mood and to lower blood pressure a calming influence in a busy world. One of my favourite books is A Simple Path by Saint Teresa, formerly Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She chose a very hard path in life by seeking to help the dead and dying on Calcutta's streets. And she settled on six words to help her. Here they are. Silence. Prayer. Faith love, service and peace. To my mind, they all revolve around active prayer. First, we need silence. If we're going to hear, really hear in our hearts, we need silence. Once we've calmed our lives a little, we have the space to pray. Much of this prayer will be listening, deep thoughts about needs and hopes, for ourselves and for others, for those we love and for those who trouble us. Prayer is the catalyst for many of the elements of this well-being week. Kindness, creativity, calm, stillness, rest. Just being you, honestly you, in the silent reflection of prayer. Back to Saint Teresa. Prayer is followed by faith an understanding of the way things are and the way that they should be. Faith is trust, hope, justice, goodness, the answers to our deepest questions. This inspires us to love, real, compassionate, in the shoes of another love, which leads to service. Love inspires acts of generosity. And all of this Silence, prayer, faith, love, service leads to peace. Listen to these words about prayer. Father, hear the prayer we offer, not for ease that prayer shall be, but for strength that we may ever live our lives courageously. Not forever in green pastures do we ask our way to be, but the steep and rugged pathway may we tread rejoicingly. Be our strength in hours of weakness, in our wanderings be our guide, through endeavour, failure, danger, Father, be thou at our side. If you struggle with prayer, as we all do, remember that routine is important. Just as we have heard from Mr Brown and Will Satch, order and balance in our routine helps so much. This routine for prayer may help you. Remember the word ACTS, A-C-T-S. 
A is for adoration, the recognition of something bigger than ourselves and worthy of praise. For those who profess a faith, that will be God. C is for confession, admit what we have done wrong and lift that weight from our shoulders. T is for thanksgiving, count our blessings, give thanks for people and for situations. Finally, S is for supplication, a fancy word that means asking. Ask for yourself and for others. What do you sincerely wish for? You may have noticed that these elements are present in the Lord's Prayer, and I'll read the Lord's Prayer towards the end of today's session. Now I want to read out the requests for prayer that I have received. So these are the prayers for those who have died during this time. Let us keep just a few moments of silence, important silence. William Borland, Irene Aylott, Roger Booch, Alan Newell, Maureen Brown, Trevor Padden, Jim Butler, Jean Jeffrey, the Reverend Peter Holmes, John Cooksey. As we remember them, we keep silence again. And now prayer requests from members of the community. Prayers are asked in memory of the aunt of a boy in year 12. Also prayers requested by a member of staff for a friend and her newborn daughter following the unexpected death of her husband in January. Prayers of thanks from a boy in year seven who is now able to see his grandparents after so many weeks of lockdown. A prayer request from a member of staff who is due to join us in September. That God will bless our students and staff in this period of, block, of lockdown. Prayers also for the strength to engage and support students in, with distance learning and help in the development of these skills for the benefit of all. A prayer from a girl in year 12 praying for those in the school and around the country whose mental health has been affected by this pandemic. And lastly, from a member of staff, thinking of all of those who have provided help and support during this difficult time, he would like to pray in thanks for his parents. This member of staff also asks for prayers for his godmother, Sister Anthony Wilson, who is very sick in hospital at this time. As we pray these prayers wherever we are, let us keep silence again. We pray for all who have been bereaved, for those who are sick and continue to suffer the consequences of this virus, for those whose livelihoods have been affected. And we also give thanks for the blessings of life, of which we are now all the more acutely aware. Amen. Let me end with a version of the Lord's Prayer, written by Frank Colquhoun, followed by three more thoughts. So let us pray. Loving Father of us all, transcendent in glory, may all people honour your holy name and acknowledge your kingly rule that your purposes may be fulfilled on earth as truly as they are in heaven. Give us today all things that we need for our material and bodily wants. Forgive us the wrong we have done and make us as ready to forgive others. Save us from yielding to temptation and falling into sin and rescue us from the forces of evil at work around us and within us. For you, O Lord, are sovereign over all things. Your power is sufficient for all our needs. To you 
be the glory now and for ever. Amen. And those three little thoughts. Firstly, from Mahatma Gandhi. Prayer is not an old person's idle amusement. Properly understood and applied, it is the most potent instrument, instrument of action. From Father Doyle. Make your prayer simple, as simple as you can. Reason little, love much, and you will pray well. And lastly, from St. Teresa of Calcutta. Prayer enlarges the heart until it is capable of containing God's gift of himself. This afternoon, you have the opportunity to be creative. Art, music, cooking, whatever you like. Please send photographs of you being creative or anything else that you do this week. Send them to marketing at shiplake.org.uk. Have a wonderful day.